Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bullshit. D and today we are reacting to uh, a game. Now, I haven't been on YouTube for a while, and that's because my PC died. Yes, RP my PC, but it's okay. I got a new one. Now we can upload as much content as we want, guys. So, get ready. <laughs> get ready for some content. Today, I want to talk about a game that was just announced that not not many people like. Tom um, Clancy's It's Defiant. Bro, when I say this game did not hit its target, that's saying little to what actually happened. Like, this game is down bad. If down bad was a video game, this is the game. A lot of people are not liking this game, and I have no idea why. Like, I literally just woke up. I was like, hey, let's record some videos, you know? And then I saw this trailer was revealed, and I was like, okay, okay, kind of cool. And I know the trailer just came out recently and I have not watched the trailer yet. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be watching it with you guys. So let's get into it. We're excited to share a first look at a project we're developing at Ubisoft San Francisco. Okay. This is our take on a multiplayer first person shooter. We need to get you in early and find out what you think. Um, Our goal is to make a best in class shooter for you, the players, to compete and have fun with your friends. It's I mean, y'all got a lot of shooters. We're proud to introduce Especially from game. Tom Clancy. All right. This is a free to play, mm. high octane shooter. Combining this, realistic- This looks like Siege, with but classes. with like a Call of Duty style to it. Cleaners, assault. To compliment your play style and oh, oh so you not call of duty overwatch each faction is capable of swinging the moment yeah the match. So apparently Our overwatch apparently the of the game. we know to be a great shooter the gunplay has to be our top priority yep we have an ever-growing arsenal of authentic weapons and attachments we put a lot of care into how our weapons look and feel. We've crafted right. every weapon attachment for precise, Ink. satisfying gunplay. Oh, it. I don't know. It's like some of these moments, the gameplay looks amazing. But other times it looks wonky. To adapt to a changing battlefield. And I don't know if that's just like the rendering and like post-production. I don't know. I can't watch plays. Yeah, like right here. Don't, don't this look clunky? Personalizing and now this looks. And gear in a fast this, yeah, I is don't a know. New experience I think it's a post production problem. And we're committed to creating a welcoming game based on fair play and transparency. Whether you're playing casually or pushing yourself competitively. Now, the game's still okay. in early development, but we're gearing up to let you in as soon as possible. So register right now to participate in our early rollout phases. Thank you so much for watching. We really want your input. All right. Oh, they really want my input? All right, but, but, but I'll, give, I'll give them my input. The hockey feels like, like Tom Clancy's Siege. It looks like Siege. It, and it also looks like The Division as well. Oh God, what was that? Yeah, it also looks like The Division as well when it comes to like the whole gadgets and everything like that. So of course this game is not going to be like amazing. Of course, not a lot of people going to play it. Most of the people who are playing it are probably the people who play Siege or uh, The Division. But I like the idea how they said that this is going to be competitive, but on the fun side, just like Overwatch. Like, some of these abilities are Overwatch abilities. Like, what I'm looking at, it makes me feel like I'm playing like Overwatch. Like, Tom Clancy's take on Overwatch. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I feel like Tom, how would Tom Clancy feel about this game? Will he like it? Will he be like, hey, yo, that's kind of fire. I feel like they are trying to do too much. Like they trying to be multiple things at the same time, which is way different from like what I expect from a Tom Clancy game. But that's my takes on it so far. It, it has to grow on me for me to actually like it because I'm not sure how I feel about this right now. If they are pushing towards that point, and if that point actually makes sense and works out for them, but yeah, this will be actually a decent game that I wouldn't mind playing. I wouldn't mind recording. Yeah, one thing that really bothers me is the free to play aspect. Like, how much detail are they going to put in a free to play game? 
I feel like they're going to try with this game, but they're not going to do everything they can or everything they want to do. If that makes sense. And like, I'm I'm checking it out right now. See what other people say. See, look, 3.8 likes, 3.3 dislikes. A lot of people do not like this game. So I get, I understand now. I guess, like I was saying earlier, this doesn't feel like a Tom Clancy game. I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, it's their own opinion. And if it's not Tom Clancy, it's not Tom Clancy. You feel me? Yeah, I'm not going to hype this game up. I'm just going to let this game fly, dog. Just let it fly. See how everything works out for them. And hopefully they make a game that people like.